Okay guys, welcome to the next distributive law lesson. We are just going to expand a little bit upon the last lesson that we did with this work so that we will be able to move on to exercise three, which includes using bigger numbers, like in the hundreds. But for now, let's go ahead and just get a little bit more detail on distributive law. And let's go ahead and take a look. So I have six and four. And this time I'm gonna add something special. I'm actually gonna put a plus sign there. Okay, six plus four times, uh, let's do, five plus two. Okay, that's the problem we're going to do. So as we can see here is I went ahead and I put some operation signs inside my parentheses. Okay, so let us begin the work. So we're going to multiply everything by five first. So six times five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, six times five and four times five. One, two, three, four, five. Very cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and find our answer for this. What is six times five? Six, 12, 18, 24, 30. And what is four times five? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Look at that. Cool. All right. Now we're gonna multiply everything by two. So six times two and four times two. What is six times two? Yes, six times two is 12. And what is four times two? Eight. Okay, all right, so what I wanna do this time, this is very similar to what we did last time, but what I wanna do this time is I want to go ahead and lay out cards for everything that we did. So we did, let me get out my number cards here. We did six times five. And you know whenever we have to find our answer, we push this together, we get 50, we're gonna add it to four, four times five. And when we add these together, we know this is 30, this is 20. So we push it all together. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That equals 50. I'm just brightening in the hierarchical colors there. Now here we did six times what? So six times two, and then we did plus four, four times two. So we need to add these together. This is six times two, and this is four times two. So what does this equal? We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20, and we know in order to get this answer, we have to put our 20 and 50 together. So what is 20 plus 50? It equals 70, okay? So six plus four times five plus two equals 70, okay? Cool. So let's go ahead and do this again with laying out all the cards. Nine plus six times four plus seven. Let's do a little bit bigger one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply everything by four. So I need nine times four and six times four. What is nine times four? Anybody know that multiplication fact? It's 36. 
and six times four. Sorry, I know the six looks different. I have two different packs of beads mixed in my one box here. What is six times four? That equals 24. Okay, let's go ahead and multiply everything by seven. Nine times seven, and now we need six times seven. All right, so six times seven. So what is nine times seven? Nine times seven is 63. Remember your nine trick? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six tens, three units, 63. And then six times seven. That one is 42. 42. Okay, so let's go ahead and put out tickets and cards for what? we have done here. So we did nine times four plus six times four. And when we add it all together, we take our answers and we add it all together. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So we come up with the answer of 60. So that equals 60. Is it still on camera if I go over here? Yeah, 60. So let's go ahead and put this back. Okay. And now let's figure out what we did here. We did nine times seven plus six times seven. Okay, when we add all this together, ooh, it's a lot, huh? Let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 103, 104, 105. So that equals 105. And in order to get our final answer, we have to add these together. So 60 plus 105, that equals 165. Put these back. Okay, cool. So what I want you to do is I want you to practice laying out these cards or writing these cards. I can show you really quickly how we would write them on paper. I'll just, you know, make a problem on paper really quick and then I'll show you. Okay, you guys, so here I have a problem drawn out on paper. We have two plus four times three plus five. So we can see we've done two times three, and we've done four times three, and two times three is what? Six, and we've done three times four, which is 12. Here we've done two times five, which is 10. And here we've done four times five, which is 20. So just like we would have done with our beads, just on paper, but we're gonna go ahead and write out the number. Two times three plus four times three. And what did we get that that equaled? Well, six plus 12 is 18. And then down here we did two times five plus four times five. And what did that give us? 30. And then when we add them together, find eight plus zero is eight, one plus three is four. We find that equals 48. So you see we still have the parts. Okay, you're still writing it out and you're still coming up with the answer, but I want you writing these little number sentences because how many little multiplication problems were there inside this one problem? One, two, three, four, okay? 
but it's important that you get experience seeing these cards and writing them because in the next part of this lesson, we will be taking problems like this. In our next lesson, we will be looking at this and how we can break this down using the distributive law. But in order to be able to do that, you need to practice writing down and putting down tickets, okay? So the thing that is new this time is this portion here. Doing what we've already done, but we're actually putting it in numeric form rather than physical form. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'm very excited to get this started uh, whenever we're able to do that. And yeah, thanks guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.